Alright guys, what's up? Back here with the uh, Boondocks landing gear review. Now I'm jumping to the pros first. It's easy to use on land and water. I mean, you have it on your trailer or back of your bed. You can easily flip down the wheels, no problem. Pull it off, roll it down to the water. Once you get in the water, you push off into some deeper water. And then you grab and pull them up. And same when you uh, come in to the dock or wherever, you, the boat ramp. You just flip them down and you pull them out, flip them down, push them back in, and they're submerged in the water, which is a little bit tougher because there's air in the tires. So then you just roll it up the ramp. Not that bad. It's definitely a pro because you can't do that with a scupper guard. It makes bigger kayaks like my Pro Angler easier to move. If you have a Pro Angler, go get the Boondocks landing gear. It should be the first thing you buy. It's made moving the Pro Angler like possible without messing it up, scratching it up. It's a definite buy for something like the Pro Angler or maybe the Native Titan, bigger kayaks like that. Another pro is you do not have to flip it over to put on your wheels like you do with the scupper cart. The Boondocks Landing Gear also offers gear tracks behind you so you can mount more accessories right behind you on the, on the actual Boondocks Landing Gear. It's a very high quality. It's made out of good metal. Uh, I can't say anything bad about the build quality of it. Seems like it's gonna last a long time. It's also made in the USA, which I consider a pro. And I've heard Boondocks has great customer service and they're based out in North Carolina. In reality, if you have a Hobie, it's not that much more than a Hobie scupper car. I think those are like 160, 170. If you go to Austin Kayak, you can uh, put in your email and sign up for their mailing list and they'll give you 15% off, which I think drops the price to like 225. So it's really not that big of a difference between that and a scupper cart, and it's definitely worth it. Here's the cons. It is hard to install on the Pro Angler. It depends on your kayak, but on the Pro Angler, it's kind of a pita. But it's definitely worth it. It just takes a minute, and it's a little frustrating. But once it's done, it's done. You don't have to worry about it anymore. It adds a little bit of weight to the kayak, but it kind of makes up for that by making the kayak easier to move. So... Depends on your application and what you're doing with your kayak, where you're storing it, stuff like that. On the Hobie Pro Angler 12 that I have, it also blocks the front screw-in clips. Not a big deal, I just move my paddle one back and then I just don't use those front two. Not really a deal breaker for me. It also blocks the uh, rubber uh, hookless bait pockets on the PA12 which I don't use anyway, so not a big deal to me either. It is expensive, but like I said, if you go to Austin Kayak, you can do that whole thing. Because it is 250 for Boondocks any year, but if you have a Pro Angler, it's another $15. Now my final thoughts on this are, I can't recommend the Boondocks Landing Gear enough. If I had one regret about the Boondocks Landing Gear, I would have gotten it sooner. It has made a huge difference. It has single-handedly got me on and off the water faster and easier and made it possible to do by myself. If you're looking at buying a Boondocks Landing Gear, I would recommend you quit looking and just go buy one, especially if you have a bigger kayak. Anyway, that's my review of the Boondocks Landing Gear. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it helped you out. I hope it maybe convinced you to go get one because they're worth it. If you like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, or if you want to ask a question about that I didn't cover, comment below. Anyway, until next time, guys, see you later.